Good morning. Amen. Give me a heart like thine. That is an old, old song. But a right now plea. <laughs> this is Seed of Word and Ministry, and I am a Meta. You know, before sin was, our minds, our hearts, and everything was clear. We were clean vessels. No darkness at all. We felt great in the presence of our Father God. We walked together. He showed me things. I felt his love, but something happened. That was in the book of Genesis with Adam and Eve. Their thoughts were clean. God said when he finished creating, it was all very good, but something happened after the transgression. God spoke that he repented that he had made mankind at the time of adam and eve were naked and they walked with god there was no shame or fear in god's presence it was full of pleasure lord cover me god covered them in jeremiah 17 and 9 it says the heart is deceitful above all things and desperately wicked who can know it? What happened to their hearts? It became full of the knowledge of good things and bad things. Thoughts entered their heads they had never had before. God did not just get holy. He was always holy and whole. We want to do good, but evil is present inside and outside. Our hearts became wicked and deceitful. And I say ours because this passed down through generation to generation. Solomon discovered this and penned in the book of Proverbs 4. Keep thy heart with all diligence, for out of it are the issues of life. After sin, our hearts were no longer all good even after we received Jesus Christ. What? Oh yeah. We still had the sin nature in our heart. Instead of good things coming forth, bad things surfaced. Lying, cussing, gossiping, stealing, judging without complete knowledge, hatred to our brothers and our sisters. Our eyes were no longer seeing beauty, not even looking for it. Solomon said the issues of life had taken over our thoughts, our emotions, our will, and our affection. Paul told us to think on these things in Philippians 4. And he reads it, he says, Finally, brethren, whatsoever things are true, whatsoever things are honest, whatsoever things are just, whatsoever things are pure, whatsoever things are lovely, Whatsoever things are of good report, if there be any virtue, and if there be any praise, think on these things. How many know our minds aren't always on things like that? Other things surface. In the ninth verse of that fourth chapter, it says those things we have both learned and received and, re and heard and seen in them do these things and the peace of God 
shall be with you. So if you see any good flowing from me, it is not me. It's my Father's good because every good and perfect gift comes from God. James 1, 17, 19. Every good gift and every perfect gift is from God above and cometh down from the Father of lights, with whom is no variableness, neither shadow of turning. Of his own will beget us with the word of truth, that we should be the kind of first fruit of his creatures. Well, my brethren, he says, let every man be swift to hear, slow to speak, slow to wrath. The big problem with us thinking that we are all that in a bag of chips is we begin to act without the knowledge of God. Only God knows our heart and can clean it. Give me a clean heart and a right spirit, David said. David showed us in some of his writings how the spirit can get messed up. And he needed to spend some time with God. He didn't do that. So God sent Nathan to David so he could see himself after he had sinned with Beersheba. He didn't run right to God and ask for forgiveness. He went on trying to live his life. And so God sent Nathan. This is how much God loved David. I did not have a Nathan. I had a husband that showed me some aspects of myself. My husband has a drive and a passion. No, wait a minute. He has a drive and extreme passion for the ball game. He knows who the players are, how much they make, and what they are supposed to do on the field. And my goodness, he shows his rage of anger when they don't perform to his expectations. At that time, you know, I had just gotten married and I seen that in him. And I began to even evaluate my Christian life. I thought I was doing a pretty good job. But looking at how devoted he was to that ball game made me evaluate my walk. You see, your deceitfulness is in your heart and it can deceive yourself. So now once someone says you are good, it is God doing the good in you, for he purposed to do good. I am not pious by saying or speaking the truth. It is God doing it in me. God, through salvation and the gift of the Holy Spirit's power, enables us to walk and repent quickly. He calls us to spend time with him so can, we can know what he thinks about us. Discover, discovering God shows us who we are. He helps us righteously in Jesus. He says, and I quote, we are a mighty conqueror. He says we are chosen, a chosen generation. And all of this is in Christ Jesus. So you see, there is no good thing in me outside of Christ Jesus. The good that I do is because he empowers me to do so and I make the right choices. To do bad is always there. The Bible says it is present. It is all evil is always present. And so we have to make a choice, my brothers and sisters, how we walk this Christian life. We're so close to the coming of Jesus Christ God is sending all kinds of messages to us about cleaning up. And our heart is a one one, is a big one. Because like it was stated, our heart is deceitful. And if we're not careful, it will deceive ourselves with it. Amen. God is good all the time. He is good. Give me a heart like thine is what the song says. God wants us to have a heart like he had, in, has, he has in the beginning. He's kind and generous. Jesus. 
Savior divine. Come to my soul, Lord. Open my guides and me. God loves you and so do I. Keep masking. Keep distancing. Wear them gloves when necessary. Ask God about whether you should get the COVID test and the shot, the vaccine. <laughs> Work out your own soul salvation with trembling and fear before a mighty awesome loving god if you haven't received him as savior you can do that right now or after you stop viewing father in the name of jesus those that are listening that need that heart change that 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 need forgiveness i ask god that you touch their hearts and their minds right now that you would deliver them from the things that's hindering them and hindering me. We want to be so that you can use us anytime and anywhere. Give us a repented heart. As David said, give me a heart like yours. Don't take away my joy. In Jesus' precious name, amen. What a way to start a week. Clean up. Hear me, O Savior divine. Yes, Lord. Lord willing, see you on Thursday around the same time. In Jesus' name, amen. Amen.